For me, doing combos is the best part of any fighting game. It gives me the most satisfaction when I get a chance to do a long ass combo online. But if you want to start learning doing this, you quit. 100% guaranteed. If you want to learn how to do long big combos, you may go watch combo tutorials on YouTube or you go to the trial mode. But those can't help you much, because first you need to learn how to do links, then you need to learn motion inputs, and you have to be able to cancel them, and you have to memorize all the button combinations, and you need to do them pretty fast. And you can't do crap, so you just say screw it, I'm out. Part of the problem is that you see one big combo as a whole and think to yourself, there is no way I'll be able to memorize all this and be fast enough to do all of them. But what you don't know is that each one of these moves have a specific place in a combo and you can break them down to understand their properties. When you figure that out, it's easy to just pick any character and go through all their movesets and make your own combo. On top of that, when you see a combo video, you'll understand exactly why that combo was possible and you can just go to training mode and try to see if you can expand on that combo for yourself. Honestly, it's so much fun. Figuring things out is one of the best part of learning a new fighting game. Now in this video, I'll break down the Street Fighter 5's combo system for you. And since it's similar to SF6 combo system, if you learn 5, you're ready for 6. So let's start simple. Here's a not so easy but not so complicated combo. There are two ways of doing a combo in your fighting game. Linking or cancelling your moves into each other. You can cancel your normal moves into special moves and your special moves into super special moves and some characters can do a special to a special cancel overall it means cutting the animation of your move before it's finished into another move for example look at this move you can see this is the real length of this move and now by cancelling it into a special move I cut its animation right in the middle now linking is the exact opposite of it which means you have to wait till the animation is fully done to be able to press another button you can link specials to specials normals to specials or specials to normals so it's not just linking normals together but it all depends on your character and how it is designed by developers this jury combo starts by linking three normal moves and cancelling the third normal into a special move this is the base of any combo in a street fighter doing two or three links and then cancelling it into a special move ex move or a super your combo can easily end here but if you want to expand upon it and do even longer combo this is where you need to learn your character's special moves that allow you to extend your combo. For this simple combo, after you link three normal moves, cancel them to this special move, which launches the opponent and allows you to do more juggle. And for your final hit, you can link it to an EX special move. The key to extending combos is finding each character's special moves that extends combos or gives you juggle opportunities. Some characters have normal special moves for that, and some have to use their EX special moves for combo extender and juggling. You have to try out your character's specials to see what they allow you to do. All right, here's a couple of long combos in SF5, and I'll explain what are each move's properties and why they've been used in that situation. Again, we start with a 3 hit normal link and cancelling it to a medium fuha. This special move allows her to link into some normal moves. And after that, we can cancel that normal move to a special move and then cancel that special move to a super move for your final hit. Now, if you want to extend your combos even more, this is where you need to learn your game system. Each Street Fighter has a unique system that lets you to extend your combo. A Street Fighter 4 had focus cancel, a Street Fighter 5 has V trigger and V skill, and a Street Fighter 6 has driver. V trigger and V skill in SF5 is pretty unique to each character and everybody has different abilities. But focus cancel and drive rush in SF4 and 6 are universal and everybody has access to it. To do a drive rush in SF6, after you hit a normal move, you have to do a dash. And it gives you a momentum to do two or three more normal moves before doing a special move. It lets you extend your combos even more. I'll make a full video explaining everything about drive rush when I get my hands on the beta or when the game comes up. But for now, let's continue with Juri in SF5. After that last special move, she can cancel that into a V-Trigger. And after that, she has a few options. She can do a heavy fuha and cancel it into a light fuha and for the final hit, doing a super special move or an EX special move. Another option is after that second heavy fuha, she can do a third heavy fuha and then cancel that into a super special move or an EX move. The latter is harder to do, but gives you more damage. Also, if she has charge VS skill one, instead of super move for the final hit, you can do VS skill. Here are some other examples of long combos with EX moves as their extender.
To summarize all of it, when you want to do a long combo, you need to find out which one of your character's normal moves can be linked into each other, cause you can't link every normal move. And then, you have to know which normal moves are cancelable into a special moves, cause just like linking, you can't cancel every normal move. And finally, you need to know which one of your character's special moves can extend the combo and which one can launch the opponent. You need to learn the properties of your character's regular and EX special moves to know when to stop or extend your combos. This is the base of a complex combo in a street fight. Now if you just started learning fighting games, you definitely have problem doing links and special moves. And for that, I'll make a video explaining how to link your moves into each other. When I make that video, I'll put its link right here. And for you who have problem doing motion inputs for chance... <laughs> and for you who have problem doing motion inputs for special moves and cancels, I'll make another video explaining every tips and tricks I know to do these inputs on different controllers and when I make that video, I'll put its link right here. I'll see you in these two videos, until then, keep fighting!